Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Tucker, product manager for the personal productivity team here at GitLab. Uh, we're going to take a look at our 17.5 uh, milestone plan for today. Um, so we got two themes we're looking at this milestone. Uh, we're continuing work on maturing the to-do list experience, and we're conducting foundational research on notification settings. So on the design side, um, we are continuing our focus on notification settings that we had started back in 17.5. Uh, we've got some design ideas and some concepts about how we want to approach unifying the email notifications and to-dos notification settings, um, but we need some engineering input to make sure that we're on the right path. So while engineering is looking at the technical side of how to implement this, uh, design is going to step back and look at the actual notification levels that we provide today. So for example, watch and participate and on mention, uh, we're going to make sure that those uh, still work when we're thinking about notifications within the GitLab UI, or if we need to iterate them uh, on them to meet our future needs. On the design side, development is continuing to migrate our existing to-do list experience to view. Uh, this is one of our older pages that was built in Haml and Ruby, so it didn't have a lot of support for interactive um, features and functionality on the page. Uh, so we're porting that over to a modern view framework so that we can take advantage of um, some of the capabilities that it provides. Uh, so we've got a lot of that done in 17.5 and have an early release that's available to our team. And we're continuing to work through some uh, follow-up items that we found in design and uh, product review um, as we continue to focus to make sure we reach parity with the existing experience. Uh, once we have reached parity, we're going to extend that access to our internal GitLab team members to gather more feedback before releasing it to our uh, entire customer base. Uh, we're also getting started on some planned improvements to the to-do list. So for example, uh, snoozing to-dos, which we're going to be starting on uh, in this milestone. Uh, if we take a look at the issue here, we can see some of the uh, screenshots of kind of the designs that we're going to be aiming for. Um, take a look at the first one. That's very large. Uh, we're going to add a new action to the row of each to do to allow you to snooze it for a set period of times or a custom time. Um, once it to do is snoozed, it'll pop out of the main list, move into a new snoozed tab uh, where you can see all of those items that you've saved for later follow up. Once the snoozing alarm um, sounds, it'll move back into that main list at the very top uh, so that you can see that there's this item that you had previously said you need to follow up on and now is uh, top of your list again. We're also going to start looking at the UX for filtering to-dos. Right now, the... Um, the to-dos list has uh, facet style filters that is different than most of the other list pages in the GitLab product that use uh, a search bar with um, token style filtering. Uh, so we're going to look to bring that experience into the to-do list as well. Uh, it'll enable us to provide things like full text search uh, and provide just kind of some more interesting compound complex behavior that uh, we can't provide with the current filter set. So take a look at what this will look like here. We'll use our standard filter bar. We'll have a number of preset filter options with probably more to be added in the future. Uh, we're gonna add the saved or the recent filters experience here as well, which I think will be a big save for uh, folks that are in and out of their to-do page frequently. Um, one particular feature to call out is the author um, filter that we're adding. We're going to add kind of a meta filter so that you can sort out user responses versus bot responses. Uh, this is going to be a big help, especially to our internal team members as uh, we at GitLab have a lot of bots and automations that um, move things through various processes, add comments, um, request follow-ups. Uh, so those will help folks to narrow those, uh, narrow down on those items or exclude them from their list as they're looking for the, the people that are actually trying to interact with them. Uh, so those are our plans for the 17.5 release. Uh, we don't anticipate shipping, um, snoozing, or the enhanced filters within 17.5, but we will be laying the groundwork to hopefully get those out in 17.6 or 17.7. Um, so that's it for today. If you have any feedback or questions, please reach out. We're happy to chat.